welcome back to Colorful Analysis channel. I'm super excited you are here. In this scenario, we would like to calculate average shipment delay. Doesn't matter that it is about the shipment. We want to actually find out average between two dates, which uh, depend on the subject you have. We need a uh, date uh, diff from the category of date and time functions. We need DAX of summarized from the category of uh, table and manipulated function. And we need average from the category of uh, by average, uh, by aggregation functions, DAX. Uh, let's look together. This is the data set. I got it from Kegel. Uh, and it contains shipment date and order date. I want to find out in, or, uh, in every region, which is already mentioned here in this uh, column, what is the average of uh, delay in order to understand that how can I uh, support the end user for the specific product, I needed that delay. Uh, so to get this visualization that uh, is caused with this uh, all the region and you can see the in each month I can find out for example, in central, the average shipment delay is 3.86 days. So how can I get this one? It depends on uh, you. You can change the visual and sometimes um, you can even use the uh, simple table to see that uh, what's the that average. But uh, this is not the point of this video. We want to calculate this average. First of all, I need to find out the delay between uh, two dates. I should uh, create a column. I will add delay days. Dates. If order date, shipment date, and base on day. So as you can see, uh, in general, you can go ahead with uh, all others, but uh, in this scenario, we need a day. So I have delay days as you can see is the same as the previous one which i prepare i need calculate average of the delay uh, so the dax function to create a table calls the delay average delay table and use a summarize function and what I need, I need a table of superstar. Uh, in the superstar, definitely I should uh, group by, by uh, region. Uh, because I need a monthly, I should uh, group by, by month for the month. And uh, then I should calculate the average. So first give a name to that, that column, average delay, shipment. And uh, get the average calculated delay. So our table is ready for each month I have based on the each of the region. And uh, I will add it uh, in my table. I select a stack bar. Depend on what you want. You can select the another visual. And I add the region as a Y axis, average as a X axis, 
that should be average and the legend uh, will be our order months. Definitely I don't need a title. And I don't need this one. Okay, that is would be better for me. And uh, we have a possibility in the case our scenario would be look first uh, about the each months so we can change it uh, to the different uh, style means that order in the legend instead yes, of in the legend orders on an x-axis and in the legend we have a region So this is another looking uh, to that uh, scenario. Each, each month says, I can understand that in general, the delay is 3.96 uh, in the east uh, what and in the west uh, what the de delay. And this one is can be each of the region look at it in each month depend on what you want you can use uh, these measures to calculate average shipment delay i hope that that solution can be useful for you until next journey of the exploring analysis data bye for now